Hey and welcome to Goss TV, I'm Megan Scully. I'm Lisa Ria. Now first up today to some relationship news. The series finale of Made in Chelsea took place last night and it seems things aren't so great between Nick and Hughes and Alex Vickin. Yeah, now the two of them had a little bit of a tiff to say the least on last night's show and where he kind of said, you know what, I think I want to be single. So that didn't really go down too well with our Nicola to be honest. Um, he has now said in the episode he was going to LA without her to film Made in Chelsea. Said the space might be good for the two of them. Ouch. I know, but the only thing is, I think they maybe have kissed and made up since it, since the two have gone off to Salamanca in Spain since they're there at the moment. So I think maybe that this is just maybe a speed bump. Guess we'll have to wait and see for the next series though. As opposed to another couple that seems to be getting on very well, Roy McElroy and Erica Stoll. They were spotted in Ireland recently. Yeah, they were spotted up at the Titanic exhibition in Belfast. Um, Onlooker said that Rory was now frills or glamour and he was able to go up and buy his own tickets. Cool. I know, so the two of them like enjoyed that on the sites that Belfast had. And, but the, it isn't the first time though that Rory has been spotted out and about and kind of just doing everyday things. And um, people saw him recently in Boudrum in the burrito shop and ordering, lining up like everyone else. So, you know, on the show, celebs are just like us. Mm. And maybe you never know, they might settle down in Northern Ireland. <gasps> That could be something. Keep our eyes peeled. I know. <laughs> I suppose another huge story is um, the hugely popular show, uh, The Bachelorette, that is um, all across the states, was shot in Dublin. Yeah. So the way the show works, they usually get whisked away when it whistles down to the final few guys that they come to a different country to kind of see the silence and everything. Like so, they chose Dublin this time around. Nice. So as a whole crew, they went and saw like the Guinness Storehouse. They went to a few pubs in Temple Bar, but. The girl that was involved, who is the bachelorette, she got to pick one man to have a kind of a one-on-one -on -one date with. And in that one date, they went to Christchurch and got serenaded by Cranberries, Delor Dolores and Reardon. So, well, that's pretty cool. I know, it's a really once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. So, yeah, there was a lot of uh, drama, I suppose, in last night's show. So, where she ended up kind of um, staying the night with, with the fellow involved. Oh. So, she didn't really want anyone else of the other bachelors to really know about it. But... As, aside from the actual show, it's great tourism for Ireland. Like it's been shown all over the states. There's a huge following, so hopefully all those American fans want to come now to Dublin and see all the same spots that the last year at Mental Well, we should see how this unfolds. Mm -hmm. We should find any pics. Yeah, exactly. Woo. So that's it from us today. For these stories and more, check out goss.ie.